Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tyler Wells. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. It would mean the world. So a lot of people have been asking what my skincare routine is and I'm gonna show you. A lot of people are always like, oh my god, your skin looks so good. I have makeup on. So that leads me to my first step. Take off all your makeup. So I know makeup wipes are bad for the environment. But truthfully, if I don't have wipes, I really will not wash my makeup off, especially like after a night of going out, like I just get so lazy to wash my face or like use those reusable makeup wipe things like that cloth. I'm really bad at it. I just like to do a simple clean wipe and just get it over with. But we're not going to be lazy, because this is a skincare video, so we're gonna get rid of all the stuff that that makeup wipe did not remove. So, I just like to take out all my piercings. I like to go to bed without any piercings. So, we're gonna wash our face. This is my face wash, it's BFF. <laughs> I have an Ipsy subscription. If you don't know what Ipsy is, it is a monthly subscription box where for $25 a month, you get five major products and brands. I'm always getting new things. I'm always trying out new products. I have the Foreo Luna 3. It is a vibrating massaging face washer. This side washes your face. It has these rubber bristles. And then on the back, it has these massage ridges for serums. So you can massage your skin and it firms and tightens your skin while making your serums absorb better. So I really like it. Um, it gets the job done a lot better than just washing with your hands because it vibrates. Also, when it comes to washing my face, I don't know how accurate this is, but I like to rinse my face with warm water so it opens up my pores and then wash it while my pores are open, rinse it with warm water, and then to close it out, rinse it with cold water so that my pores shrink. I don't know if that actually does anything, but I like to think it does, so I'm going to continue doing it. microfiber cloth, my favorite, and never wipe, always pat. Pat your skin dry, you don't want to wipe and drag your skin, that causes aging. Okay, our face is washed. Also, I want to add, I'm a huge fan of The Ordinary and all their products, I use them all the time but a lot of people don't know how to use them and apply them. A lot of people just stack on the products, all of them all at once, and there's certain products you can't mix with others. Like this is an acid-based solution, so you shouldn't apply other acids on top of another acid. So I highly recommend downloading the skincare app. They work closely with The Ordinary, and on the app you can add all of the ordinary products that you're using and it'll give you a routine and a step-by-step -step layering process on how to use them and based on which skincare products you're using, it'll tell you which ones not to use. So for example, since I just used this acid solution, I cannot add another acid on my face after using an acid, if that makes sense. All right, so one of the first things I'm going to do is put on a lip mask while I'm doing my skincare routine because my lips are kind of dry right now and we want them to be moisturized just like our skin. All right, so now we get to do our serums. So like I said, I just toned with an acid-based solution. So I should not add another direct acid on top of that, it's bad for your skin. Also, what I got in an Ipsy bag is this Sunday Riley vitamin C and turmeric face oil. This stuff is really, really good. I'm really glad I received it. It makes you very glowy. I know vitamin C and turmeric are really, really good for your skin. Uh, it just makes you glow, very hydrated, smells really, really good. 
Next up is niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. This stuff is really, really good for texture as well. It helps with pores and making them a lot smaller and zinc is just all around good for your skin. But this stuff I've noticed since I've been using it, I have much less oil. I'm, I have really oily skin. I have much less oil production. I feel like it's more regulated. And my pores are a lot smaller. They're a lot more refined. Next up on the serum, we have Grand Active Retinoid 2%. This is a retinol serum, anti-aging. It's very good for wrinkles and all around anti-aging. It's important that you use retinol serums at nighttime. They're highly, highly sensitive to the sun. So never ever put on retinol serum. During the day, you will have some major sun damage. Next up, we've got our gear line solution. 10%. Uh, this one says targets the appearance of dynamic facial lines. So I'm gonna put this where I get crow's feet. And just kind of rub it underneath into the eye crevice on here where I get these wrinkles right here. And then my last step is eye cream. So I have a bunch of under eye products and I use them according to the time of day. It's nighttime right now, I'm about to go to bed. So I first am gonna use this ultra collagen eye rescue therapy. And you're supposed to just pat because you don't wanna be too rough underneath your eyes and drag the skin. That will create wrinkles. And then lastly, I have this hyaluronic shea butter goji berry avocado brightening and depuffing overnight hyaluronic acid eye recovery mask. That was a mouthful. And I'm just gonna put this over the other one I used. Just dab it. It's okay to have excess. It will get absorbed. All right, so I got this in an Ipsy bag, Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Face Cream. I know that peptides are really, really good for your skin. So I'm gonna put this on my skin as a moisturizer and just kind of lock in all of the serums. So after I've applied my serums and my moisturizer, I am going to take my face roller. This right here gets all of the lymph out of your face. It promotes circulation, which is really good for your skin. And it also helps absorb your serums into your skin. It's just all around a really beneficial tool that I don't think a lot of people use as much as they should. And I am included in that statement. I was on a really good kick where I used it like every day and then I just fell off because it's an extra step. But if you can apply yourself, then it will be really worth it in the end. You always want to go upwards. Always go upwards. I like to go up on my eyelids. I noticed they were a lot more lifted when I was consistent with it. It was like a little mini eyebrow lift. <laughs> I like to roll along my brow bone. I saw this in a Celebrities Vogue skincare video. I want like a defined, you know, cheekbone look. So I saw to roll there and hopefully it gives you more of a... Now when it comes to your neck, like I said, you always wanna go up, 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 up. If it's up, then it's up, and it's up, and it's stuck. And then out. And then you wanna roll all that lymph 
down your shoulder and get it out back drained into your system and that's pretty much it uh yeah we're pretty glowy right now it's important to do your skincare i of course have my days when i get lazy and just don't do it but i try to be pretty good about it because i do you know want to have good skin and i don't want to have wrinkles i know one day i will but not at 25. another thing i wanted to point out before i go is my whole routine i just did right now is for my skin type i have combination slash oily skin i get really really oily i just have really oily skin which is good but i, I don't have dry skin so the products i used and showed you in this video are for that skin type and just like with medication what's right for me in this skincare video may not be right for you so it's important that you understand what your skin type is so you can you know have the skin routine that is best for that but um that's it for tonight i'm exhausted i'm going to bed thank you for watching if you have any questions please comment down below and i will answer them for you over now good night love you guys